Yes, we are on. A pleasant good evening to you, uh, Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out for linking with us this evening. I know it's been a hectic day for you. Uh, give us an idea. We're talking to Kwesi Robinson. Uh, he is the chairman of the Tuna Puna Piaco Regional Corporation and the PNM Social Media Officer. Chairman, give us an idea of what are the challenges, uh, if any, taking place in Tuna Puna uh, due to the weather. So we had fallen trees over the weekend, and currently we are monitoring the, the Karani area. I think that street is New Street. So we monitor that street. That's a street where the embankment usually breaks. Um, that that is very concerning to us. We are working on a subject measure for tonight and in the morning, and we continue to monitor all the levels. Thankfully, um, other than the small landslip in Lopino, you know, we were spared any serious flooding. There was some street and flash flooding along the eastern main road. Uh, we we view the Marshall Trace areas. That is concerned. Cedric Settlement is a long-standing issue. Those contracts uh, will be awarded shortly. It was going to be the tendering process. So Frederick Settlement and Marshall Chase, we look to make the actual solution for those, but we just continue to ask people to be safe during this time. Yes, uh, I, I know. So, I mean, it always seems as though, um, and I was just talking to Mr. Tanku, and he was saying that uh, there was talk about the waterways being cleared and, and the water courses being cleared and um, uh, preparing for this uh, inclement weather. Um, your take on it was was there good preparation if you had to look at it now for what's taking place for me as chairman of the tuna puna corporation i always view myself with room for improvement so i would say although we did work there is much work for us still to do because it, it's not because we didn't flood today there is still a lot of work for us to do but i would compliment the ministry of work for some of the work that they did and also my own officers but for me um, going into the role as chairman and continue to work, we can always do more work to protect it. There are some illegal buildings that we didn't get to remove all, and there are some other things that we were supposed to do. So I'm saying that while I am glad for the work that we did, there is always more work to be done. And, and let me ask you, I mean, we're in the heights of the local government election. What does serving as chairman mean to you? I mean, I serve in my community is very important to me, and it is impacting the small lives. Not the big, big projects, or the small lives, the lady who need her retainer all done, the man who needs, you know, to make sure the tree cuts away, don't fall and destroy his house. It's the little things for me that we focus on improving the market, the Etihad vending space, starting the vendor at Constantine. It's those small things. Now, when you're dealing with the small things, there are millions of small issues to deal with. But I prefer to focus on the small things in order to achieve the great thing. And that's what really local government is for me, helping the small man on the ground. And, 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 and get, getting the essence of what you're saying there, it's about ensuring that the people are served, uh, the people who normally would not get that attention uh, based on the fact that they may be overlooked or uh, just, you know, stressed out to the fact that they've been trying their best to get something done, but they're not getting it. Now, yeah. taking that in consideration, um, I think what you've done there was set the tone as far as yourself moving forward with this local government election. But what about those issues that sidetrack everything, such as race baiting and mudslinging and personal attacks? Uh, I mean, we're talking about a code of conduct on this program. Uh, when that comes into play, when that comes into the equation, how do you deal with such matters? I, I don't respond to any personal attacks. I mean, I... I think we live in a beautiful multicultural country and I do uh, get into the race and the race beating and that kind of stuff. I mean, and, and I will urge anybody to check my track record on those issues on both sides of the divide. How I deal with my, because our council has seven UNC members and there were 13 of us on the PNM side and I used to try to deal with everybody fairly and no ill will. So, I mean, my track record as a representative speaks to itself in terms of how I deal with Putin, and I don't respond to the Putin other. All right. There's always challenges as far as finance. We've, we've heard so much about corporations being starved for resources. How do you make your way around that? How do you get around such? We, 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 we always need more resources, but also, coupled with that, we also need to make the most efficient use of resources. So it's always good to get more money, more resources, but it's also even better to try to use the money that we have efficiently. Of course, those things are working in progress. You, no. you know every day we work on those things. 
Now, I, I'm sure you're going to have some other things on the agenda as far as the new term and the dust settles. What are some of the things that you'll be working to improve on? I mean, you spoke about the Eddie Hart grounds, uh, which is... which is the toilet. Yeah, the toilet at Eddie Hart, important. Um, the parking to continue to fix will have paved the area. I think it was pointed out on your show initially. Um, we want to continue to make the improvements at the market. We improve the lighting. We have the tender out now for the refurbishment of the fish and meat section. Um, in terms of how quickly we fix those potholes. Uh, so we want to make improvements with that and we're looking at investing in equipment and the various machinery and training for our staff to be able to better fix the, the, the simple things now. It's not about the big things, it's just a simple pothole that's in front of your gate and three, four months you call me and I haven't done it yet and I understand that. So those are the things that I want to focus on once given the opportunity again. Now, you spoke again about Eddie Hard Grounds. Is there going to be another location that is going to be similar to that, that, that nightlife yes. market? Yes, we'll be looking at Constantine um, initially. So right now, we, because we learned from the mistakes at Eddie Hart, we're currently constructing a toilet before we start any vending and proper wash facilities there. So whether we go ahead with that vending facility or not at Constantine Park, we will have the toilet facilities fixed and up to the standard that the villages require. So we're looking at Constantine Park. We are looking at somewhere between the roundabout by Karani and the licensing office. We have been in discussions with the various ministries, whether it's works or agriculture, to get a piece of land there to also move the crab vendors to a more sanitary location than on the side of the river. With water and we're working on that, we've already collected the data with the number of vendors there. We want to move them somewhere that has parking facilities for people who have to pull outside to get into accident and also run in water because of the shell food that you know it. So we continue to work on those things. So we're looking at that carny area to do that type of economic development. Now, you are the social media officer for the People's National Movement. Give us an idea if you can capture the essence of what's taking place in the screening and in the camp. What, what would you say? Well, right now we are in San Fernando screen and three corporations this evening and there are a couple of hundred people outside. We have the constituency executives there and we continue to go through the process. I think we are, this is probably the midway point of screening and we continue to screen for the rest of the week tomorrow night and Wednesday. So we continue to screen candidates. I mean, it's always good to see when you when you go to screen and you, you get to meet people from all over the country because they're screening the 41 corporations and trying that. So as a member of the party, it's always good to meet the see persons who I may not have seen for quite some time they're from Point, they're from Separia. So it's it's always nice to be among the members. And this is times that I enjoy being a member of the party. All right. Closing comments. Go right ahead. I would just like to ask everybody to continue to be safe. Um, to you and your listeners, they can get home safe tonight and just do the end of the floodwaters. Once you can, avoid it and just continue to pray and be thankful for the lovely country that we have. Thank right. you very much, Matt. Thank you so much, Jim. Okay.